Anchor links allow you to enhance your website's on-page navigation. Essentially, Anchor links enable you to send your website visitors to specific sections on your website pages. This makes it easier for your visitors to find exactly what they're looking for on your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here, thanks for joining me. Now in this brief WordPress tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to add anchor links to your WordPress website using the powerful and easy to use Divi Page Builder. Okay, so before we launch into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that out the way, let's go ahead and add anchor links to your website pages to improve the user navigation. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is log into your WordPress dashboard. Now today, what we're going to do is show you how to add anchor links using the Divi theme, the Divi page builder. Now the Divi theme is a powerful and easy to use theme that provides an easy to use page building experience. We always recommend Divi for beginners if you're looking to build a WordPress website. So for those that are completely new to the Divi theme and the Divi page builder, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial down below that will help you get started with Divi. I'll also link a complete tutorial down below that will guide you through the process of how to create a website from start to finish using the Divi theme and WordPress. So go ahead and check those tutorials out if you're completely new to Divi. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate up to the top left hand corner and then visit your site. And for today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is add two anchor links to our home page. So basically those two anchor links are going to be added into our main menu up here and those two links will take us down the page to specific sections on our home page. So to do that, what we're going to do is navigate back up to the top and then simply click enable visual builder. And then simply navigate down the page until you find the section that you want to link and send your visitors to. So what I want to do is send our visitors to this section on our homepage, our latest work. So to do that, all you need to do is simply click on the module where you want to add a anchor link. Then simply click on settings and then simply navigate over to advanced over on the right hand side and come down to CSS ID and classes. Here we want to come down and add the end portion of our link to the CSS ID. So for example, I want to link our latest work. So I'm going to go ahead and add our latest work in here with dashes instead of spaces. And once you've gone ahead and added your CSS ID, what you want to do is then copy your ID. And then once you've copied your ID, come down and click the green tick. Then navigate down to this purple icon, click here, and then simply click save changes. And that's going to save the changes that we've made on our homepage. What you want to do is navigate back to your dashboard by navigating up to dashboard over on the left hand side. Then simply scroll down to appearances on the left hand side, then come down and click on menus. And as you can see over on the right hand side, we have our main menu. We have our homepage about services and contact. Now each of these menu items take people to separate pages on our website. But what we want to do now is add a link on our primary menu that will take people down the page of our home page to a specific section. So to do that, navigate over to custom links and then navigate up to URL and add hashtag and then paste in the ID that you copied earlier. Then go ahead and add a link text that will show in your primary menu. We're just gonna add our work. Then simply click add to menu. And as you can see in our primary menu, we now have five menu items. What we can do is come down and simply drag and drop our new menu item and place that anywhere that we like. Then when you're ready, come down and click save menu. And now what we want to do is head back to our home page by simply navigating over to visit site over in the top left hand corner. 
and over in our primary menu you can now see our new link that we added if we click our work that's going to take us all the way down to this section on our homepage, our latest work and that is how you can create and add anchor links to your WordPress website using the Divi theme and Divi page builder. Now what I'm going to do is add one more anchor link and what I want to do is come down and change this button to book now and that's going to take our visitors all the way down to this book now section. So to do that I'm going to navigate up to the top and then enable visual builder again and this time I can navigate down to this button and click here and then click settings and then simply change the button name to book now then come down to link and this time I'm going to add hashtag book now and now that we've added the button URL we need to go ahead and add the CSS ID down on the page section that we want to link this button to so come down and click this green tick then what I'm going to do is navigate down to the bottom of this website page and then click on this text module here and hit settings then navigate over to advanced and then CSS ID and classes then down here I'm going to add book now and that is my ID so I'm going to come down and click this green tick and then save changes on this website page and now let's go ahead and exit out of this visual builder and test our two anchor links that we've just created okay so now if I navigate down to book now and click here that's going to take the website visitor down to the book now section and one last time if we navigate up to our work and click here that's going to take the website visitor to this section on our home page so that is how you can add anchor links to your wordpress website using the divi theme and divi page builder and there we have it guys that is it for this brief tutorial helping you add anchor links to your website pages now if you have any questions about this process make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way i'll see you in the next video take care guys